Can you see it? Can you see my tattoo in the light? Can you see what's going on there? It's not a dragon, but it's a tattoo. Because today, we're talking about the girl with the dragon tattoo. This is Rex Supernova. Hello, my YouTube friends, and I hope this finds you well. So this is part four of four of our second week of December book haul. I'm reviewing quickly all of the books I've read in this past week. And the fourth one is The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. This book has been on my radar for about three, four years now. It's been on my radar for four years. I tried reading it a few years back, couldn't get into it. It wasn't interesting to me, which I can't understand now because I read this whole thing, okay, in under two days. I couldn't, it wouldn't let me out of its grasp. It wouldn't let me out. And I had no choice but to stay up all night reading. I didn't sleep during, I just, I just read. That's all I did. I, I cleaned the kitchen, fed the dogs, and I read the book. It wouldn't let me go. So this is uh, Girl with the Dragon Tattoo by Stieg Larsson, Left Us Too Soon. Stieg Larsson uh, also wrote The Girl Who Played With Fire and The Girl Who Kicked the Hornet's Nest. Now, I just picked up The Girl Who Played With Fire today at the library, and I plan on starting that today. I already started it, actually, as soon as I got back from the library. Uh, so I'll be reviewing that here in a couple days, maybe a few days. But this was originally published back in 2008, or the translation was published in 2008. The book is 590 pages. Um, such a great novel. Entertaining, um, terrifying at some points. Quite terrifying to the point where I didn't want to read with the door of the bedroom open because I was afraid that Harriet's killer was going to be around the corner waiting for me. And she wasn't. If you've read the book, if you've seen the movie, I haven't seen the movie. I started the sweetest version this morning. Couldn't get into it. I, I feel like there's some disconnect between... I, I wish I knew Swedish so I could read it in Swedish, but I don't. I'd like to know what the difference is between the dialect and the pacing and the momentum. Uh, it was translated by a British translator who goes under Reach Keeland, but I, I wish I knew I knew, wish I knew it in its original text, but I don't unfortunately. So I have to settle for what's in my imagination through this uh, uh, phenomenological gap that's been created through the translation. Uh, but nonetheless, such a great read. Uh, gave it another shot. I was at the library, thought, you know what? Why not? Whenever I go to the library, I always pick five or six books knowing that I'm going to only read two or three of them, but I like to give myself options. And this one stuck so gnarly onto me. Such a brutal book, beautifully paced, beautifully plotted, just such a wonderful read. Uh, I can't stress that enough. I give it, maybe it's because I'm high on Larson right now, because I've been reading all night for the past two days, but I would give it easily a near 5 out of 5, okay? We're going to call it a 9.95 out of 5. Um, there are some parts where I really didn't care about what happened, but I knew that he had to wrap things up about the plots and everything. Certain things happen in the exposition that need to be dealt with in the conclusion and all that stuff, and I really didn't care about it. I kind of sped through some of it, but 90% of the novel totally grips you you just you just want to suck it all up. Um, it's it's wonderfully done. So um, let me get you on some synopsis here. There are two major characters. Actually, there are five major characters, but there are two protagonists, and they work in tandem about halfway through the novel. That they actually their their paths meet. 
so you have Michael Bloomquist, uh, and I'm probably butchering the name. If I'm butchering the name, I apologize. If you put it in the comments below, I'm going to ignore it. No, I'm just kidding. Go ahead and put it in the comments below. Let me know how you're supposed to pronounce these things. Put it phonetically in there for me. But I'm going to I'm going to Americanize the shit out of this stuff. I'm going to Americanize everything. Uh, that's just because I, I have to. So Michael Bloomquist is a journalist, an investigative journalist who specializes in financial investigations, uh, corporate finances specifically. He's being sentenced to prison for a few months and has to pay a giant sum of money because he's being ha he's being uh, convicted for libel, um, accusing of a corporate mogul of doing some very mischievous things uh, without having proof. So as I am also a an English and uh, uh, college tutor, I also always want to stress to you. Cite your sources. Cite your sources. I don't care if you do it in MLA or APA. Cite your sources. Tell me where you get your information, or I'm going to hold you for libel, and you're going to be Michael Bloomquist in The Growth of Dragon Tattoo, but probably not as cool, because no one is as cool as Michael Bloomquist and uh, uh, Elizabeth Salander in The Growth of Dragon Tattoo. Phenomenal couple. Phenomenal pairing. Well, let me get you caught back up. So. Michael Bloomquist is being charged. He doesn't have to serve his sentence for five or six months and into the future. He gets a call all of a sudden from an elderly man, uh, Heinrich Wanger, who is in um, Hedestad, Hedesby. He wants Michael to investigate a murder that happened nearly 44 years ago of his niece. And he gives him he gives him incentive. I am going to give you the man, everything that you need to to rectify the situation with the law. Your 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 magazine, Millennium Magazine. This is part one of the Millennium trilogy. Everything you need to 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 correct your reputation, your finances, your job, your your uh, uh, judicial standing. I'm going to give it to you on a silver platter. And I'm going to give you $4.5 million if you can at least spend one year living in this area researching how this woman was murdered and thus disappeared because she's my niece. Um, and Michael takes the offer. Now, Michael was referred to, to Henrik because he has a history with him. And because he was researched by another researcher, who is Elizabeth Salander. I'm not going to give you all the information because I really feel that you should read this novel if you haven't already. If you've seen the movie and if you like it, please tell me in the comments below. Tell me in the comments how much you like the, the, the movie. I'll watch the American version. I'll watch the Dutch version. you got to let me know which one you like the most and or which one you like the uh, better. And um, I highly suggest you read this novel. Such a good read. So, Elizabeth Sander is, a, is an investigator and a researcher for Milton Security, uh, which does security breaches and security overhauls for major corporations all over the world, specifically in, in Sweden. So, uh, Elizabeth was hired by Heinrich Vengar, to investigate Bloomquist to make sure that he's a good pick for their investigation of Harriet, his niece's murder, 44 years ago. Convoluted plot, I know, but it's so worth it. Um, Lisbeth is a badass. She is no holds barred, and you get that. I don't know what version of the novel you have, but you will get that she is a badass on page 220. You stick it out and get to page 220, you will see how badass Lisbeth is. And you will... You will thank me. And if you do, comment below. If you don't, also comment below. Let me know what you're thinking, okay? Um, Michael and Lisbeth team up later on, and they solve this murder. Now, I usually don't care about spoilers, but because this is a mystery thriller, I'm going to leave all spoilers out. 
out, okay? I'm not going to tell you anything other than a brief synopsis of what happens. And um, I will say this, there is quite, there is a quite large portion of exposition, but it's not dull and it's not paced too slowly. It's paced just perfectly to keep you engaged, or at least to keep, to keep the regular reader engaged and, and attentive and wanting to move forward by page 120 you're rewarded heavily heavily rewarded um the first scene i the first scene in and of itself is is a nice uh uh chokehold kind of gets you you know but page 220 to 225 i promise you you're going to reach that point and you're going to say all right goodbye to sleep goodbye to food i'm just going to go ahead and read this novel full time I'm not going to carry anything about anything else, um, and that's exactly what happened to me. So this is this is a wonderful novel. I got part two today. I'm going to give it a near five out of five, nine point five out of five. <sighs> uh, Stieg Larsson, the girl with the dragon tattoo. Also, look at my tattoo. I'm going to show you my tattoo. If you guys have a tattoo out there, please. Tell me what it is, or send a picture in the comments if you can, and let's talk about tattoos also. What does your tattoo mean? What does your tattoo mean? Okay, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, Stieg Larsson, 2008, 590 pages, highly recommended. I can't recommend it enough. Please go read it. Have a wonderful day. 